Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick status update on California Assembly Bill 390 for the California Legislative Session of 2019 and 2020. There was a uh, status update on March 25th, 2019. So in this video, I'll give you an update on what happened and what you can expect going forward. So stick around after the intro and we'll get into that. California Assembly Bill 390 was introduced on February 5th, 2019. And you can look at some of that historical information on some of my videos. I'll put a link up on the top here so you can take a look at those in the other videos. But the purpose of uh, 390 was to modify Vehicle Code 40610 to revert the changes made by California Assembly Bill 1824, Section 4, which went into effect on January 1st, 2019. Now, again, California Assembly Bill 1824 Section 4 modified Vehicle Code Section 40610 Subdivision B by adding a, a number 4 item, which identified Vehicle Code Sections 27150 Subdivision A and 27151 Subdivision A as citations that require a mandatory bail or fine, which result in the owner having to either pay the, the fine or taking the vehicle to the state referee to get it tested once the vehicle is in compliance or if it wasn't already in compliance then getting a certificate of compliance issued by the state referee. Of course, you have to pay for the test and then take the state uh, the certificate of compliance to the court to show that your vehicle was in compliance or is now in compliance. So there is time off of work. There is uh, the cost of the tests. And especially if your vehicle is stock and you didn't modify anything and it complied, it was a lot of time and effort and money wasted on just proving your vehicle was in compliance or is now in compliance. So the modification from 1824 section four definitely made it more difficult and more costly to uh, pers uh, pursue the resolution of a vehicle code um, citation for 27150 subdivision A and 27151 subdivision A. So AB 390 was introduced on February 5th and had a mandatory wait period before it could be heard uh, by the Transportation Committee. And the hearing for, before the Transportation Committee occurred yesterday, March 25th, 2019. And there were um, four uh, people that were speaking for the uh, assembly bill, basically Jim Frazier, the chairman of the board, he spoke for it. Uh, Christian Robinson from SEMA organization was there um, asking for it to be passed since it was impacting member companies as far as selling and installing exhaust systems. There were also representatives from Abate California, California uh, Motorcycle Dealers Association, and the Western Center on Law and Poverty. So there were no um, people there to speak against it. Uh, the, those four individuals were there to speak for it. And the bill was uh, voted on within that committee and received 14 yeses, zero noes, and one abstention. Now, based on that, at the end of the committee meeting, the bill moves from that transportation committee to the appropriations committee. There's no date on that yet, but I'll let you know when I get more information on that. But as soon as that's available, I'll create another video with a further status update on it. And I'll put down in the description section here the link to the video if you wish to hear the people that were speaking for the bill at the Transportation Committee meeting on March 25th, 2019. So that's the update that I have for you today. Hopefully that helps you out. We're not close to getting it. It's certainly not at the point for signing by the governor or anything, but we're one step further, at least got out of the Transportation Committee and let's see how it progresses. So thanks for coming back to the channel and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, it's free, and thanks for coming and watching my video. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Please follow Retro Car Guy 530 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for taking the time to visit the channel and I'll see you in the next one.